Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? Chad here with the Reptile Rangers. Now, we're at the Carnesville Reptile Zoo and Medical Center again today, and we had one of our viewers write us in, and like a lot of folks do, asking about doing a video for them. This one is going to be on similarities and differences between lizards and snakes. All right, now just before we get into that, right in that bottom corner, right down there, is our subscriber button. Make sure you hit that, and we appreciate you following along week after week after week. Now, let's get right into this. Okay, so our subscriber and our viewer asked if we could do a video on similarities and differences between lizards and snakes. Well, the first obvious one is one has legs, one don't. That'd be the first obvious, all right? Now, there is a subtle difference in there are some drastic differences between snakes and lizards. I'm going to kind of throw a monkey wrench in this right out of the gate, as you'll see right here in just a second. I have folks that will come into the zoo, in the storefront of the zoo, and they're, uh, maybe one is afraid of snakes, the other one loves them, and they're like, oh, ain't no snake coming in the house, I'll let lizards, turtles, whatever. That's what about the legless lizard? Okay, like this guy right here. The European legless lizard looks like a snake, but it's an actual lizard. Has a full stomach like a skink, head like a skink, can hear like the lizards can. And we're going to go over that here in just a minute, as well as other types of things. So, another one of the differences between the two, difference, is lizards have ears on the side of the head right let's see if i can get him to turn just a little bit right there right there on the side of the head that's his ear external eardrum turtles have them as well snakes don't have ears they cannot hear audible like we do they can feel vibrations different levels of decibels they can feel but they don't actually hear as we do so that would be another difference between the lizards and the snakes <clears throat> All oh, right, I know it's not going to get you. Relax. Yeah, relax. <laughs> now, another difference between the two would also be teeth. Okay, Snakes have teeth, kind of like this right here. Their teeth are small. They can be very fragile, but they're most of the time shaped at least semi-backwards. That way, when they grab food, it's easy for them to be able to, kind of like a conveyor belt, they put one jaw out, one side of the jaw. Remember, it's not connected. One side of the jaw out and rake back. The other side, rake back. The other side, rake back. So it's using almost like a pulley system or a hook, a hook and a pulley system to pull food into their mouth until it gets far enough in where they can use their muscular system to just push it on the rest of the way down. With that being said, the lizard's teeth can do anything from crushing up bugs, exoskeletons of insects, uh, to tearing apart meat, uh, to breaking down vegetable and fruit matter, okay? So there is some differences there. Lizards, most of the lizards don't have the tongue like a snake, so that would be another difference. The tongue of a snake is meant to go out, grab particles, take it back in, register those particles or the chemical scents in the Jacobson's organ in the roof of the mouth and tell them a world of information. Food, not food, potentially friendly, not friendly when it comes to chemical makeups of humans. When it comes to lizards, they taste, but their tongue is not the exact same. Their taste is almost primarily meant for food. It's not meant to fully register all information or most information like a snake's tongue does. <clears throat> now, what are some similarities between the two? Well, some similarities between the two can be <clears throat> certain medical issues can be similar between the two. Things like mouth rot, scale rot, bacterial and fungal infections can affect both abscesses. Some other similarities can also be in reproduction and in diet. Okay, so you have snakes that will eat bugs, you have lizards that will eat bugs, you have snakes that will eat meat, you have lizards that will eat meat, primarily being whole prey meat, okay, like rats, rabbits, mice, gerbils, hamsters, things like that. Similarities in reproduction can be of most of your lizards, most, not all, most of your lizards are egg layers. 
There are some live birthing lizards. Jackson's chameleons are one. Blue tongue skinks are one. There are certain snakes that produce eggs. Certain snakes that produce eggs internally. They hatch internally. They come out technically live birth. That's called ovoviviparous. You have oviviparous. <clears throat> that is egg layer. Ovoviviparous is egg producer, live birther, and then viviparous, which is true live birther. So there are some similarities and there are some differences between the two. Other similarities could be some lizards and snakes are great climbers. Some are not. Certain lizards and snakes need hotter environments. Certain lizards and snakes need colder environments or cooler, not quite as hot. That's another similarity. So there's a lot of different things, including many of the things that I've not mentioned, that can be either the difference between the lizard and the snake or how the lizard and the snake is very similar to one another. Now, this is Chad. We are the Reptile Rangers here at the Curtis World Reptile Zoo and Medical Center. And we do have the pet store. We do appreciate you guys coming along week after week after week. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, the bell for notification. Also, our information will be below for those needing to get in touch with us. Again, we do have the pet store uh, front with all the pets and supplies and all that stuff. So if you have any questions or need anything, come see us. Feel free to come see us here at the zoo. We have the TikTok channel entitled Reptile Rangers, the Instagram page entitled Kerners Will Reptile Zoo. Feel free to write us in and let us know of other things you want us to film about. And again, we appreciate you following along week after week after week. So we'll either see you here at the zoo or we'll see you on the next episode. Later.